Howdy, Wyo, Russell here, and Chris. If you guys are not subscribed to our channel, feel free to subscribe. We want our subscribers to go up, 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 and also follow us on Instagram. Anyways, today we're just gonna react to Trevor Moran, and he posted this video called Transgender. So he was transitioning into a female mm -hmm. from a male, yeah. and now he's wanting to stay male. Yeah, this is gonna be really cool. I think we should start doing a series of reacting to individuals that have transitioned and are now detransitioning. There are a lot of questions there. Yeah. It's, it, there's a big topic to be had. I had a, a huge like identity crisis. I was very, very confused with myself. So I continued to grow my hair out. Literally, I went shopping one day and changed my whole wardrobe to all women's clothes because I was about to transition into a woman. When I post a photo of myself, uh, you know, wearing fishnets or with my hair down, and then you get tons of com I get tons of comments on my Instagram and they're just like, like, yes, you look so great as a girl. Like, oh my God, transition, transition, go transgender. Like, you would fucking kill it as if it's like a fucking sport. Like, <laughs> and props to, you know, trans girls and guys and everybody in that community who are strong enough to know and continue because they know that in their hearts that's what they want and they know that they weren't in the right body when it, for me, I was just very, very confused. I just thought of it as like an outlet because I felt like I wasn't getting the attention I wanted. Maybe I'm still trying to figure out why, but definitely like all the comments and stuff, it just kept pushing it on me. What I'm hearing there is like he felt like he wasn't getting the attention he wanted and this was the way of getting attention. So it may be a whole different issue. It's just what else is going on psychologically. This whole um, topic of transitioning and detransitioning, it kind of makes you ask a bunch of questions like what age should you allow someone to transition when it comes to like hormones or surgeries? Um, one of the um, coolest trans YouTubers is Jazz. I'm so happy that she got to do the transition when she was little because it really helped her become who she is today. Yeah. I scheduled hormone replacement therapy to, you know, block my testosterone and start putting estrogen in me. And before I did that, I scheduled an appointment to freeze my sperm because most of the time, once you start um, hormone replacement therapy, you, um, you can't, you're not fertile, so you have to freeze your sperm. Hey, at least he was thinking ahead. <laughs> He's got some frozen wiggles there. It, it's really, really tricky because I, I have compassion for people who detransition, and then I also have compassion for people who are trans and they know that they're trans when they're five and they still are trans when they're 18 and 25 and 30 and they're just trans their whole life. What do you do? Do you give them just hormone blockers when they're pre-18? And then after that, you let them do like further surgeries, like more surgery type stuff? What do you do? Like if I actually ended up getting surgeries and stuff and just because I was lost and those, effects are irreversible on your body. Does something like this situation mean that there should be a certain length of time for someone to make the decision? Again, that's holding them off. I, I don't think there's anywhere we're gonna get to like a one size fits all on this. It's, it's gonna be a different situation for everyone and there are gonna be situations where people end up feeling they've made the right decisions and there are gonna be individuals that maybe you decide they've made the wrong decisions. We all make wrong decisions. It just happens that this, this is a biggie. <laughs> you know, there's a lot more consequences to it if you feel like, oh gosh, I wish I could had that to redo over again. But I think it's important to always hear people out individually. Yeah, I just think it's important to support people when they're making an effort to... Be happy, yeah. yeah. The pursuit of happiness. And if you are not sure, that's okay. There is always time in the future to do those things. But I was rushing into it just because I was so lonely and very confused. But I'm just letting you know right now, if you are unsure about who you are, that's completely okay. That is a great message. Yeah. 
That should be just to be the message for the video. That is it's a okay. great message. It's okay to not be sure. Don't feel pressured to make decisions that you're not ready for. And I'm so happy now to just sit here and um, just accept myself for just being Trevor. Maybe I am enough the way I am right now. I don't need to get estrogen or, you know, tits and stuff. He figured out he wasn't certain in time. So good for him. I can just finally look in the mirror now. Just point at that motherfucking reflection and just say, God damn it, I love you. Trevor is just Trevor. Yeah. Trevor was one of the first YouTubers we watched. Yeah. And we didn't even know he was going to be a YouTuber. No, we saw him. Yeah, we saw him when he was just a kid on X Factor. And we were like, whoa, dude, there's something about him. Like, yeah. I mean, we, we, at the, well, we at that point said, uh, we think he is probably gay. I have a lot of compassion for anybody who is trans or just questioning their sexuality in general or their sexual identity. I just want them to be happy and be themselves. Bottom line, if you're not sure what you identify as and you're not sure if you're ready for a top or bottom surgery or any other surgery or hormones, it's probably best to wait. Don't do it. Probably just don't do it, really. If you're not ready. If you're not ready, of course, don't do it. You're not ready. Maybe you'll be ready. Maybe you won't be ready. And then when you know you're ready, if you do, yeah. then that's the time to do it. And you might know at five, and you might not know at five. You might know at 18, and you might not know at 18. It's all case by case. And you just gotta have love and respect for everybody and let them make their own decisions and give them support being themselves, whatever that is. Please go check out Trevor's detransitioning video. Subscribe to Wire Us. We want our subscribers to go up, 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 up. up. Also go check out our Instagram, like this video, Wire Us. And Chris. Love you long time. But yeah, I wrote a song. It's called Sinner. It'll be out with the music video. We've reacted to this, but then we need to go and react to Sinner. And that way we get to see All right. what he just spoke about. Watch that reaction video if you want to later. We'll link it below when it's done.